do you do you see you know still a future where he's a Nick you know next year and beyond or you know and does it depend on what he does in the next few weeks in your mind I think it's always dangerous to say a big decision like that depends on what could be four games seven games whatever it ends up being um he has really just had a weird last two seasons you know I remember he came into the league and he was running a lot of pick and rolls and his passing kind of kind of stood out his ability to read the defense and slow down and get guys on his hip and control the game and he's just not going to get a lot of opportunities to do that with Brunson and Randall running things but he's he's become pretty good at kind of picking his spots to attack mismatches to attack off the catch you would just wish the jumper would have come along more consistently by now but he's he's found a way to kind of fit in and like you look up and you're like wow okay RJ Barrett had 22 points it didn't feel like that but he had he had 22 points and you can't take that for granted it's like as high as the expectations have been and as much as he feels like I, I mean I don't know if disappointment is too strong of a word but like I think people have been waiting for more and sometimes he feels like a third fourth kind of and the quickly hard show off the bench has kind of surpassed him to it in, in appeal to fans like you, you can't you can't take it all. He's so young and he's still giving you 20 a game. Like you, you got to be careful just sort of writing that off as well. He doesn't fit where this franchise is really going anymore. I think fit is really important when you talk about his season because he's playing with two high volume players in Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson. Those guys are taking a lot of shots. So in my mind, Part of the value of him this year was exactly what Zach said, fitting within that dynamic and not uh, not doing too much or trying to do too much on offense when those guys are on the floor. And I'm sure it's tough for RJ. I would assume it's tough for RJ because he had a stretch late last year where the ball was in his hands a ton. He was playmaking, um, and then he gets extended. But I think he's done a very good job of just fitting in. Obviously, field goal percentage, some of the defensive issues, you can't gloss over those. But there is there's something to be said to the value of fitting in there because it, every player couldn't do it. And every player who's young on a big extension couldn't do it. He's done it. And maybe I'm too close to the situation, but I, I'm a believer in R.J. Barrett just because of the way he approaches his craft and the way he works. I, I think he's going to figure things out in a way that's ultimately going to help the Knicks 